Hey everybody, Prepper for the Ages. Uh, how are you doing today? Uh, wanted to talk about what else, something else that happened in Greece that it was. I thought it was very interesting, so I would share it with you guys. One of the things that the Greece government did to uh, for uh, belt tightening, for uh, for drastic uh, taking drastic uh, measures to save the the local currency was what they did was they. Uh, they gave everybody's bank accounts a haircut. What did I say? Anything over, I think, 80,000, what they did was they took 20% off the top. So if you had, uh, if you had less than 80,000 in your Greek bank account, you were okay. But the minute you had any more, they took 20%. So if you had a million in there, they took 20%. They took 200,000 of your million and that was it. And that was what the one-time uh, the one time, uh, uh, and I think it went to the banks too. The banks could take it, the banks could keep it, and that was the injection into the economy. And I could have sworn that uh, the United States adopted, basically they have that as well in their arsenal of things that they could do with the economy. That, yeah, I think they're keeping it, you know, keeping it in their back pocket. But I can't find that legislation that went through and I could have sworn, I could have, uh, hand over heart, I could have sworn, I could have sworn that, uh, that the uh, United States said, hey, that was a, that's a good idea. And I think if all else fails, if the economy tanks, that I think they would institute that or they would uh, put that rule in. So if you had over a certain money in your, amount of money in your account, it would just go off to the banks. But I'm thinking, um, I'm going to leave it there for now. I don't know if it only applies to us commoners or not. But yeah, uh, yeah, I would, um, it, it's interesting thought. So I don't have a solution for that. Um, maybe, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's just keeping your money in the system. Now, uh, maybe that's where the material assets come in or the, or the um, money from having a little bit of money from other countries. Or something, you know, investing in something instead of having your money in the bank. Uh, I know that some people won out in Venezuela and I don't know if it's Argentina. I forget. Uh, uh, I, I forget. But, you know, keeping money in the mattress was a little bit better than keeping it in the bank because they could only put out, they could only withdraw so much money every day from the ATMs. And once, you know, you, you could stand in line for hours and hours and hope that you get into the get to the front of the line and get to withdraw money from the ATM before the ATM ran out of money and that's how bad it was. So uh, yeah, just a little something to think about today. I really don't have a solution for the take getting the haircut, <laughs> the, the government stepping in and, and allowing a haircut of so many percent from your bank account. Um, I'm not sure how that would go over, but then again, I don't know how, how to hedge against that. Um, other than not to have it in the bank. Uh, I'm not suggesting anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a money person, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just uh, relaying what I observed as an anthropologist in other countries. All right. Okay. Well, I hope it, hope you, this finds you well. Uh, if you like my channel, please hit the like button. Please subscribe for more tips, tricks, and talk about prepping. Okay. Prepper for the ages signing out for now.